poster. Oh. Hello. Oh, little poster. Ah. Hey guys, welcome back to my very first Twitch stream. Uh, Pre-recorded and edited to be put on YouTube. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's been a bit of a pattern developing lately, and it's not a good one. It all started in January when this clip went viral of a Twitch streamer furious at the idea of going a few minutes without making any money. It all started in January? Begging for subs started with Bad Bunny, by the way. Bad Bunny was the literal first person to ever do this. It started back in January. And to get the stream going, if you like the content, blah, 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 how that result in zero subs? There are regulars here. Five dollars a month. Five dollars. Five dollars to provide for the content that you're watching. Look, I have a wall of non-subs. This is fucking actually really heartbreaking because it's like people just really have no, really don't respect me as a content creator. Predictably, this sparked outrage on Twitter. Uh, yeah. People made YouTube videos about it, and despite the overwhelming majority opinion that this girl was in the wrong for doing this, it was probably the most attention she'd ever gotten. Interesting how creating outrage will do that. Which brings us to culprit number two. This one from just. Hmm. Interesting. Well, hold on. Is that hypocritical? Creating outrage garners attention, and all I do is report on outrage. It's, te it's technically a different thing. I don't know what this guy, Drew Gordon, I don't know what his normal content is. Maybe he does more than just cover drama. Maybe he does, like... Hey, guy, what... Other stuff, too? I have no idea what he does. I don't know what this guy is. Last month. I'm unemployed, so basically all my money goes to bills and food, or I would support you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. He's our YouTube react, Andy. Okay. Stuff. That doesn't really track. What you mean to say is, I'm so irresponsible with my money, I can't support the entertainment that I enjoy. Damn. That's what that is. Guys, five dollars isn't that much money. That's why I'm begging you for it. Once again, more Twitter outrage, more viral YouTube. Okay, when you say five dollars, okay, we'll call out bad arguments with Sam. All acknowledge going with Sam. When you say five dollars isn't a lot of money, that's why I'm begging for it. Well, five dollars from one person isn't a lot of money. That's why I ban subs when you motherfuckers act up. Five dollars from a lot of people is a lot of money. That's why I usually take back my mega nukes <laughs> when I ban a lot of subs. Okay, like you know, five dollars isn't that much money from one person. Just like one vote isn't that much money from one person. But five dollars from a lot of people is a lot of money. Or votes from a lot of people win elections. Yeah, of course. YouTube videos about it and the internet coming together once more to shame this self-righteous person, as they should. But the pattern continues. 500 subs. We gotta get to 500 subs. It's the only way I'm committing to the stream schedule. We're at 187. Like, I don't know what to All right. Now I'm starting to get suspicious. Why is Amanda Cerny, an internet veteran, making the same mistakes as these other streamers? Is she not aware of the backlash they got, or even if being slightly misconstrued, how her words could have the same effect? Or is she extremely aware of that, and that's the reason she did this? You see, like a lot of people, I've been aware of Amanda Cerny for a few years now. She was a former Viner, turned Instagram comedian, turned total afterthought in my brain. But now, thanks to this clip and the subsequent tweets about it, I'm not only reminded of the fact that she exists, but also now I know that she's Twitch streaming. A lot of people know that now. All it takes is one trip to her social blade to see how many people know that now. Could it be that given the current climate of the internet, that the most effective marketing tool for your Twitch stream is to do this exact thing? It's working for her so far, and thank God it was. If it wasn't for this clip being passed around, I would have missed out on some of the best Red Dead 2 gameplay I've ever seen. <gasps> I killed my worst. Now, if we're to take these three clips at face value and compare them, this is by far the most defensible one. I can kind of understand what she means by saying her words were taken out of context. I think maybe someone was just asking her, like, what her schedule is, and all uh -huh. she's saying is, I want to have a consistent... Hey, what's up? Hold on, we're watching a video, okay? Schedule, but until this becomes a viable source of income for me, I'd be better off using my time to make money in other ways, which is a fine sentiment. It's more so the way it came off. She has this sense of exasperation. Like, guys, I've been streaming for four days already, and only 187 people have agreed to give me money. There's a lot of people watch that and think, shit, you're lucky to be in that position. People stream for years without any subscribers. They just do it because they like it. So when people like Amanda Cerny, an already very rich person, go to Twitch and wonder why people aren't immediately throwing their money at them, it just comes off as entitled and out of touch. You've only streamed like 10 times. Have you ever considered that maybe you're just not that good at it yet, and it will take some practice before people want to reward you for just putting forth the bare minimum effort? I feel like most people, especially already established creators on the internet, assume Twitch streaming is like the easiest thing in the world. Oh. One thing that's always really confusing me is that like to some extent, I'm sympathetic of this position of, like, people that, like, um, act maybe, like, super entitled, like, oh, like, I should have more subs, blah, 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 blah. But, like, when usually when I see people like that, I'm just like, wow, like, you're kind of dumb. Like, yeah. But then you just, like, move on. I don't understand the, I don't understand the fixation on it where it's like, I need to talk about this a lot. And, and like, I don't know. It just seems kind of weird, but okay. Oh, you just sit there and play video games all day? I could do that. But the streamers people watch, the ones I watch consistently, are really fucking good at it. They're funny and entertaining, they put on a show, or they're just extremely good at the game they're playing, or they have a skill that most people don't have that's fun to watch. Maybe if you created a fun environment, or were better at the game you're playing, or even if you just interacted with your chat instead of staring at your phone every time a cutscene comes on, people would see the value in spending money to support your stream. The quickest I also feel like we're highly selecting for certain clips here, because any big streamer, you can find a lot of boring moments on their stream. Now, maybe she does this all the time. However, I wouldn't trust anybody on YouTube, um, for, for being honest. But I mean, like, we can talk about, like, some streamers watch Gordon Ramsay all day, some streamers like literally shut their channel off or go to stream on other okay. channels because they're getting too triggered or tilted uh, you know like so, i mean like you can find like a lot of bad moments um d depending on what you're looking at I, I i don't know i'm i'm really hesitant when i see people like um just like cutting clips from streams like this it makes me wonder also the idea that like lots of streamers are good at video games that's not every streamer as well like some streamers just play and you watch them and it's funny because they're not that great at video games right Scene comes on, people would see the value in spending money to support your stream. The quickest way to make people angry is to act as if you're entitled to their money by merely existing in front of them. Like, they should be honored to have the privilege of financially supporting you. Also, what a huge slap in the face to the people who already did subscribe, as if their support means nothing. But the fact of the matter is, whether she meant to stir the pot or just did... We're reaching there, but okay. 
so by accident. This is the best advertising for her stream she could have possibly asked for. I wouldn't be surprised if she already doubled her 500 sub goal by now just by saying something dumb. Speaking of numbers, I want to go back and talk some more about Invader V, who is also doing just fine despite saying much worse things. That's so toxic, especially when people are losing their jobs. It really is. One half-assed apology later, and her army of white knights continues to grow stronger by the day. Even during that stream, she was getting new subs left and right. Now, if you guys don't mind, so I want to go ahead and break down her apology because I think it's a real masterclass in saving face. Hi. You're here right now because you've seen a clip of me. Mm -hmm. You're very angry about what I said in that clip. Sure, yeah. What I said was toned up, uh -huh. insensitive, uh -huh. and stupid. Uh -huh. The clip that you saw does not represent my true feelings. Wait, what? I express opinions that I do not hold at all. I said things I don't mean, and they were vile. Wait, hold on. You can do that? You can go off on a whole strongly opinionated tangent and then just say, well, actually, that wasn't my opinion. That's why I said it, because it wasn't what I felt. What I said was wrong in any context, but especially in the context of a global pandemic. Uh -huh. So next, she opens the floor for questions and then struggles to answer any of them and just moves on. I want to talk to you. I want to hear your voices. I want to answer the questions that you have. With all due respect, why didn't you apologize before the clip blew up? Okay. Um. I, that's a difficult question to answer. I wish that I could talk about it all day and answer each and every one of your questions. You can. I wish that I could give you a satisfactory answer so that you could see who I really am. So do that. But that's not what this is about. That's not what this apology is about. It's not about apologizing. LBRB. Give me I'm pretty sure that clip went viral. Didn't it go viral like literally that day or the next day? Like, you're not going to apologize for something you literally just said. That seems really weird, but okay. And that's the whole apology. It was like eight minutes of her saying she didn't actually mean what she said and she wants to take this opportunity to learn and grow from it, which is why she's going to spend the next three hours ignoring questions and acting defensive. Great memes in chat, everybody. I like seeing the same five comments repeated 800 times. It's so funny. It took her like four days to apologize and then about 10 minutes for her to get mad at everyone for bringing it up. I think this person's comment that I saw kind of just sums it up perfectly. So at this point, I was pretty invested in the situation. I mean, like, there's not really much to say. So at this point, I was pretty invested in this. You did the manifesto the next day? That's different. I love fighting with the internet. I love it. I love everybody to hate me, and I'll get on my fucking stream, and I'll fight with every single motherfucker that wants to. But for a lot of people, that's not possible. A lot of people get, like, super fucked up by shit like this. So, like, when this guy's like, oh, like, you know, she took four days, blah, 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 blah. Well, that's, like, four days of, like, constant hate across every single platform. It's the same thing with Caterino, too. Or the same thing with pretty much anybody that gets a lot of hate on the internet. Like, for you, you just see four days of not streaming, and you don't think about it at all. But for the other person, they're probably getting DM on Twitch, probably getting DMs on Twitter, probably getting DMs on Instagram, they're probably getting DMs on Discord, and they're probably getting a bunch of evil, nasty tweets on Twitter, they're getting a bunch of people making YouTube videos about them, they're getting some mainstream media coverage in some cases, um, they're probably getting a lot of, like, fucked up, like, comments and posts on, like, other social media platforms, like, aimed at them, like, it's a lot to deal with for most people. I would say the 99.99999999% Now listen, if you're my viewers, you might be spoiled, okay? Because I love fighting. But for a lot of other streamers, like there's like serious repercussions to the types of, of feedback that they get publicly like even me um message drew he might be willing to talk zero percent chance and if if you wanted to i can already tell it'd be a waste of time uh if you want to though we can i i don't give a fuck um but the problem is that um, I bet you would have fought with LSF and other streamers the very next day if you were in catering shoots. Dude, I fight with everybody. I got banned from LSF from fighting with LSF people, okay? I love it. I'll go down in the trenches all fucking day until I get banned from the subreddit, okay? Um, but the um, the problem is for a lot of other people, and you've all watched streamers have huge problems with this, right? Like, Tyler one I think just a month ago, said he needed to take a week break because he couldn't deal with things. Greek God X's life is currently imploding because he can't deal with negative feedback. Mitch Jones has taken like years off sometimes because he can't deal with the negative feedback. Um, Lily has had huge problems. Fed doesn't stream regularly anymore. Pokey had to come out and address concerns with things. Um, <clears throat> like I'm trying to think of any big stream, like pretty much every single summit has had huge problems f feeling with like his stream is failing and everything. Like almost every single large streamer has had, Recful like doesn't stream regularly. Yeah. Almost every single large streamer um, Fed streams now. Oh, maybe Fed is back to streaming now. That's cool if he is, but he like stopped, right? I, like he stopped because he like it was so much to deal with. Um, XQC has like a separate channel that he streams on when he gets overwhelmed on his main channel. Although XQC does manage to stream a lot too. Um, but um, yeah, Asmund Gold takes time off multiple times. He's done it. Um, have you ever had problems that made you stop or take breaks? I love fighting with people. I don't give a fuck. But that's like pretty rare. It's not like most people don't enjoy that. Most people are more human. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think. Yeah, like almost every single, almost every, oh, Tyler One takes breaks, but he plays League, yeah. Do you stream more hours per month than XQC? Probably not. XQC streams an ungodly amount. XQC might stream more than anyone on the platform, I think. Is it XQC LOL? No, it's XQ Cow. Over the past 30 days, you streamed 293 hours. I've streamed 276. Damn. I've been streaming quite a bit. Um, if we compare years, XQC should be way, high, way higher than me.
I was 2,551 hours. I think he was over 3,000 for last year. 3,653 hours. Summit is also a, a big streamer too. Summit and XQC, I think, put out the most hours of any big streamer on the platform. Is it Summit or is it Summit something else? Fuck, I can't find it. Look at, oh, Summit 1G. Oh, yeah. You know, 3,350 hours. What is Hassan's channel name? Is it Hassan underscore Piker? No. Oh, Hasanabi, duh. Damn, Hassan just put out a ton of hours too. Holy shit. He must stream at different hours than me. I feel like there's not always a lot of overlap. Can you not look at... Is it only the... Is it really... I would have imagined the way that this would work on the back end is like the data here is all aggregated based on like whatever number you input, but do they actually have specific increments for like 3, 7, 14, 90? Like I would have imagined I could type in any number here, but I guess I can't. That's really... Or it, does it... That's kind of weird. It's probably pre-computed. Yeah, I guess. How much has Lily Peach you streamed this month? She, Lily's been streaming a lot. Or kind of. Okay, never mind. Um, what about Soda Poppin? Two hundred eighteen hours is yeah. Forty-five more. Okay. Um, check S Fan TV. <coughs> Two hundred forty-three. Pretty good. Okay. What was that? What it, Melina's been streaming quite a bit. Not, I don't think like these numbers, but 79 hours there. Just trying, okay. It's over two hours a day. Check Pokemon. How much does Pokemon stream? 56. Oh, holy shit. She just. Okay, anyway. Situation that I had to dive deeper, especially when she said this. Thank you, Upright Lion, for understanding that uh, an entire person cannot be summed up in a 30 second clip. That's an important detail to point out. See, V1 says to think that all of her fuck ups were contained within that one 30 second clip that went viral. However, that's not true, and I know that because for some reason the VOD from that stream is still up on her channel. You can still go watch the entire thing. Don't worry though, you don't have to do that because I have nothing going on in my life and I already did. It starts off small with some not so subtle guilt trips here and there. How are you doing, V? I would be better if you sub to me. Sometimes I just listen to you while I'm working. Damn, I hope that while you're working extra hard and you're cashing in that fucking money, 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 you also throw a sub my way. Thank you all of you for subbing. Thank you all of you for being reasonable people. But as it goes on, it gets more and more manipulative. Well, yes, streamers do provide hundreds of hours of content for free. If anything, you do owe them. They don't really owe you anything. No, 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 no. That's not true. Nobody owes you anything people watching your stream they're watching the ads before your stream they're how many times on stream when we're watching do we like all right guys 27 subs from 7,000 guys with 27 subs if, if i get 100 more subs i'm gonna go ahead and gift 100 subs if you go ahead and do 250 i'm gonna match you 250 like i feel like streamers do this shit all the fucking time <laughs> boosting uh, your stream in like the ranking no, 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 that's not true. Nobody owes you anything. People watching your stream, they're watching the ads before you stream. First of all, people don't watch ads. Ad blog rates on Twitch are like 70 to 80%. Nice try, though. They're boosting uh, your stream in like the rankings just by being there. Not always, because now Twitch is sorting people not just by most viewers. Although that does help, sure. The more viewers you have, the more likely it is other people are going to see. They don't really owe you a subscription. Twitch is a free platform. If they want to watch you for free, they can't. And what she says especially falls to the other way, where it's like once people are giving you money, they're paying a subscription fee to enable you to make content. You do owe them now. You owe them the content that they paid for. But as bad as that statement was, it only gets worse. That's so toxic, especially when people are losing their jobs. It really isn't. And if you believe it is, then I imagine that you simply don't understand how this platform works. And I encourage you to get more perspective. How can someone be so wrong and so condescending at the same time? At this point, even her fans, the people who were watching in this moment, started questioning her logic, but she would not back down. She would not admit that maybe she's wrong. Some people work and struggle and they don't have $5 still. You're obviously not the person that I was speaking to. But you seem so self-centered that you thought I was talking specifically to you. I wasn't. I was speaking to the group. These are exquisite contributions to a very good conversation. And these people in chat who are making these comments do not appear as immature childish cheapskates whatsoever. <laughs> They're just... What? I wish I was a fucking girl because I go off on chat so much. I wish I could get somebody to clip me. Like, Destiny, I have this thing where you spend a whole 30 minutes ragging on your chat. Do you want to defend these comments? Fuck yeah, I do. Fucking bring me in. God damn it. I wish I was a sexy girl. Fuck.
They're sitting here masturbating as hard as they possibly can, as quietly as they can, and their parents are in the next room talking about how disappointed they are in them. And they're like, why would I pay for this? And it's just like giving it away for free. <laughs> what the fuck? The best part of that clip is what happens right after it. She's just sitting there giggling at her own hilarious joke, and she stops to look at her phone, and I think sees a text from someone who's probably like, dude, what the hell are you doing? Oh my goodness. That instant shift in her facial expression is priceless. But it doesn't affect her for more than a few seconds because then she goes right back to her echo chamber where she has no reason to believe that she's saying anything wrong. Most of her audience is not fake at all by this she could probably be beating him to death with a shovel and they would still just comment on how hot she is like, I love you. and the ones who are how does i'm curious how does he know that the people before that were commenting even part of her audience doesn't like this it was actually part of her audience and not just somebody wandering through because then he also says well her audience is generally okay with this and they still sub but even part of her audience is okay well, how do you even know which one i'm just, yeah i don't know challenging what she's saying are far outnumbered by the people who are commenting things like this i've never watched a person that's so nice to people that they don't even know who you are so nice what? Are we watching the same stream? Ah! It doesn't matter though. She's so confident in her ability to mentally overpower her loyal horde of simps that she can just blatantly contradict herself. Well, I never said if you don't have $5 for me, you should be out there working. I didn't actually say that. If you don't have $10, you probably don't have time to watch Twitch because you should be working. But you did say that. No worst gamer ever. You definitely heard that, but that is not actually what I said. You should be working. I didn't say if you don't have $5 for me, you're irresponsible with your money. I'm so irresponsible with my money. I didn't say if you don't have $5 for me, you're irresponsible with your money. If you don't have $5 to sub to a Twitch stream, she definitely stumbles a bit here for sure. If you watch, you're probably irresponsible with your money. Could have just deleted the VOD, and I wouldn't have been able to edit that together, but that's your fault. Her argument doesn't end there though. She really wants you to the get The truth is, is that if she deleted the VOD, this guy probably would have found a backup, would have gone through the entire backup of the VOD, and would have said she tried to hide the truth. <laughs> the we call that a win win, boys. For some money. So she starts comparing her stream to the cost of other things to show you how valuable it is. It's less expensive than a Netflix account, and you're not stuck with the number of screens. If you pay for one Twitch subscription, that goes against that, that will transfer to every platform that you want to watch Twitch on. I'm sorry, guys. One second. Hold on. I just gotta have you around here somewhere. Oh, it's not. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I was just trying to find the logic here. Your subscription is more valuable than Netflix because people can watch you on multiple devices. Last time I checked, Netflix has like a billion movies, doesn't beg me for money, and there's no free version of it. I can watch your stream for free. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I know that I don't have to be as annoyed by this as I am. And I really wanted to try and give her the. To be fair, Netflix is cool, but I'm pretty sure people are highly critical of Netflix's catalog. <laughs> but the, but I'm nitpicking like a motherfucker here but benefit of the doubt maybe she was just having a really bad day and she said some stupid shit because she was angry i've gotten angry and said stupid shit i don't think that defines you as a person so every couple of days i would check to see if she was streaming and if she wasn't popping for like 20 minutes here and there just to get a sense of the vibe and my first takeaway was that she seems very smart although she also likes to tell people that she is it's so funny people ask they're like how do you know so much like how are you able to speak on so many topics and then they ask and do you watch all these tv shows the answer is the same uh, i think one of the reasons why i'm able to speak on so many different types of topics is because i don't spend a lot of time watching tv but i think she's extremely well spoken i think she does a good job of moving the conversation along especially considering how most of the replies are just utter nonsense and i actually felt myself starting to pull away from my frustration but then a few minutes into one of the first live streams i clicked on she brought up the situation again and said this a lot of people were again talking about like how i should get a job or i should work I thought it's quite funny because a lot of streamers were saying things like that. I've had more jobs than they have. I've worked harder than they have. A lot of them are just professional streamers who have been gaming since they were 16, 17, 18 years old. Fucking true. A lot of people that stream on this platform literally started when they were fucking 19 right out of fucking college and it shows. I've actually been working since I was that age, and I wasn't doing it in front of an audience. It wasn't glamorous streaming work, trust me. Okay, first of all, I scrolled through Twitter at the time. I didn't see any big streamers telling her to get a real job. The tweets I saw all had some pretty valid points, so I don't know what you're talking about. But hold on, I thought your whole reason for demanding subs was that you deserve people's money because you work so hard, right? And streaming's not as easy as people think. The more efficient you are at something, the easier it looks. But when other people have the same job as you, for them, it's just glamorous streaming work. My god, the hypocrisy. It's incredible how she's tried to shift the narrative here despite having no solid ground to stand on, which makes me think, is this? Is this all part of it too? Let's recap. First, Wait, what, were those two completely and totally separate arguments? He demands that people give her money, which they do. Video of that blows up, so she apologizes to safe face, but welcomes all the brand new viewers. Some of them are only there to leave hate comments because of what she said, which is unfortunate, but of course, she uses it as an opportunity to play the victim, which leads to even more people donating and subscribing because they want to cheer her up. And with that, the cycle is complete. Well done, V. Wait, what are you... How, I mean, if you don't play the victim, what do you do? Just double down on it? What are you supposed to... What are you supposed to do? Well done. And guys, I know, I know. If this was all paid. It's so funny too because like I know like I've know I know so many streamers behind the scenes we talk I talk a lot about because so many people have like mental breakdowns and stuff that's like super, super, super harsh. Um nobody ever wants to do this. Like nobody gets off on this type of stuff. It's usually like really difficult for most people to deal with. So the idea that people would farm this intentionally, um, maybe it's easier on YouTube and you don't think about it much because on YouTube you can prepare a video, right? I might have a shitty fucking seven days in a row, but I could churn out a YouTube video if I had to. Sit down, <sighs> write out my script, record it, and I'll be okay. You can't really fake your way through streams. Like if you're in a bad mood, it's gonna fuck your stream up and it's gonna fuck your viewers up because they're gonna think you're in a bad mood and that could like cycle out of control. It doesn't really work that way with YouTube, um, especially for, I wonder how often this guy puts out videos. Hey guy, welcome back. Hey guy. So three days ago, three weeks ago, three weeks ago, one month, one month. So like he's putting out like anywhere from two to four videos a month. Like maybe it's a different world for him. Um, hold on a second. I fell for it so hard. I'm like the world's dumbest fish. Is that T-bone steak attached to a sharp object? I'm not falling for that. But I do like steak. In conclusion, don't do this. Don't try and guilt people into giving you their money and don't berate them when they give you a valid reason why they can't. If people want to support you and they have the ability to support you, more often than not, they're going to support you. Also guys, seriously- Wait. 
But if this guy just spent the whole video saying people bait subs, he said that one girl before probably has twice as many subs now as she did before, and that V still had people subbing. Why shouldn't you do this? Sound from this guy, from the way that he's making it sound, apparently this is actually a really good idea. Like into giving you their money and don't berate them when they give you a valid reason why they can't. If people want to support you and they have the ability to support you, more often than not, they're going to support you. So hard. I'm like the world's dumbest fish. Is that a T-bone steak attached to a sharp object? I'm not falling for that. But I do like steak. In conclusion, don't do this. Don't try and guilt people into giving you their money and don't berate them when they give you a valid reason why they can't. If people want to support you and they have the ability to support you, more often than not, they're going to support you. Also, guys, seriously, don't go and harass anyone that I talk about in this video. If you're mad, I get it. I'm mad too, clearly. But I'm giving you an open invitation now to just vent about it down in the comments. But please don't go to someone's live stream and comment inflammatory shit just to try to get a reaction out of them. That's not cool. To end this video on a positive note, I would like to shout out some of my favorite streamers because I do watch Twitch almost every day. Number one, Chris Melberger. He's the goat, in my opinion. He's so consistently entertaining. Eddie, Gus, Jake, they're all streaming pretty regularly now, and I think they're killing it. Not just because they're my friends, although that's definitely part of it. Jenna and Julian are always great. Uh, Thomas Middleditch is on Twitch now. What the hell? I love that guy. Also, if you haven't, go watch his Netflix special with Ben Schwartz. It's the hardest I've laughed in months. There are so many wonderful people on Twitch, and I hate that the ones who abuse it might lead people to think that it's just a cesspool filled with greedy assholes when really that's the minority. Well, with all this talk about money, I think it's time I go ahead and pay my own bills. Hi. In case it wasn't already made obvious by the basketball hoop that I have in my office, I do a lot of online shopping. And if there's one thing. <laughs> I think my favorite thing about the whole ecosystem of how this works is literally the 15 to 16 minutes on how shameless and disgusting somebody is for like maybe aggressive call to actions and then following up at the very end with here's a paid advertisement for me to make some money on my own <laughs> thing i've learned is that the internet can be expensive especially now that people are trying to charge you five dollars just to look at them but if you'd rather save money online than spend it then you'll probably be interested in today's sponsor Hunt. honey is a free browser extension that automatically searches the web for coupons whenever you shop online and applies them right when you're about to check out you don't have to search anything you don't even have to remember to act oh shit i would love to see these youtube shooters start streaming on twitch eight hours a day and watch them completely collapse if they slip up we've already seen that how fast did pewdiepie make it on twitch before he fucking just dropping end bombs on bridges boys <laughs> It's it really is hard to be like on camera like eight hours ten hours a day for a lot of people Like it's pretty inhuman to think that people are looking at you that much. You can't really hide um, Oh, yeah, look at keemstar right keemstar folded next to me in like fucking 60 seconds That guy lost it and had to fucking run away um, Being live for this long like puts you under a pretty ungodly amount of scrutiny Like think of like any dumb thing you've ever said and then imagine every single dumb thing You've ever said is gonna be captured on camera into perpetuity and that you're gonna have to deal with the ramifications of that for the rest of your life Like it's pretty hard. It's it's a difficult thing. That's why, if you appreciate the struggle, you should like and subscribe, because it's really hard, okay? Also, you have no excuse not to be subbing right now, okay? You just got your $1,800 fucking check from Obama, all right? You just got your fucking uh, unemployment insurance from fucking Clinton, okay? You just got your fucking Trump small business blowback. Your mom and dad probably got, you know, fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 from bullshit, okay? All of you guys, you got money out the ass right now, and you're not working, okay? You're at home watching stream all day, okay? That's right. Pop those sub buttons. You know you got them, okay? You are ecstatic no, to watch America let you Did right now. That? Yeah, you're like, oh, we Did can't I do anything that? better. Like you sound like a like you sound so pathetic. How you how you look at your 